Hey, welcome back to How to Barbecue Right. I'm Malcolm Reed. Today I'm going to show you how I do spicy chicken sliders. I've got a couple whole chickens here that we're going to season and get on the pit. When they're done, I'm going to pull them apart and serve them topped with the white barbecue sauce that I'm firing up with some cayenne, some white pepper, some added hot sauce. These are going to be delicious little chicken sandwiches, perfect for your Labor Day weekend. Let's get to cooking. So I'm starting with a couple whole chickens that I picked up at the grocery store. I just brought them home, took them out of the package, and just kind of cleaned them up a little bit. If there's any excess fat or anything, I just trimmed that off, threw away the giblets, anything that's packed with it. I just want the chickens. And now we're ready to get them seasoned up. So what I've done, I've taken some paper towels, dried the skin, and I'm going to use some cooking spray to put on the outside to help our seasoning stick and to give it some fat, something for it to crisp up a little bit. So we're just going to act like we're painting these chickens. That's good on the back side. And this side's going down the whole cook. It doesn't matter as much, but I still like to get some season, some flavor on it. And I've got my hot barbecue rub. If you've got another spicy rub that you like, go ahead and use it here. It'll work perfect. Just want a good coat. And we're gonna pull these chickens apart at the end so you can go kind of heavy. I really want some flavor. That looks good. I'm gonna turn them over. We're gonna do the same thing to the breast side. We've got some paper towel. We're gonna take that excess moisture off. You just want them dry as possible. The oil is going to help the seasoning stick, but we don't want any moisture on them. It doesn't hurt to dry the cavity out a little bit, too. These look good. They've been sitting out for about 30 minutes. So we're going to spray them with our cooking spray. We're going to hit them with more dry rub. Get some extra down in that cavity. That looks perfect. Now I'm going to spin them around, make sure I get some on the front side, too. I'm just going to use my hand, kind of pat it, make sure we get in there. You want to get in all the little cracks and crevices. Get seasoning all over it. Now we're just going to let these birds hang out. I'm gonna fire up the grill, show you what we're cooking on today. Now for this cook, I'm firing up my Traeger pellet grill. I've got it full of pecan pellets. That's gonna give us some good flavor on the birds. And I'm running the temp at 350 degrees. I want that skin to render down, to get bite through, but it also helps keep the meat nice and juicy. And you could use any grill you want. You just wanna run it at that same temperature to get the same results. So the Traeger is up to 350 degrees. That's exactly where I want it. We're ready to put these chickens on. We've still got some smoke coming out. So we want that to get all around these birds. And I'm not really worried about presentation on this because we are going to pull these chickens. So I'm just going to get them on the pit here. We'll cook one one way. I'll put this one going this way. That looks good. Now we're just going to close the lid on the Traeger. Let it do its job. We'll check on them in about half an hour. All right, it's been 30 minutes. We're going to check these chickens out, see how they're looking. Color's looking good on them. You can tell they're rendering. They've got juices dripping out of them. We're just going to keep rolling them. But now is where I want to start watching that internal temperature. So I'm just going to pick this one here. We'll go in the breast, thick part. I've got my dot set to 165. We're looking at about, what, 78 degrees. we still got a ways to go. But we'll just let them keep cooking. Get the lid closed. We'll show you what they're like when they're done. So it's been about 45 total minutes. You can see we're climbing up to about 105. Let's take a look at these birds. We're starting to get some color on them. What I'm gonna do at this point is just give them a little bit more cooking spray. Just kind of keep some moisture on that skin, some of that oil. Doesn't matter if they crack like they're doing split. We're not worried about that because that means season's gonna get down in there as it cooks and renders. We're not going for really appearance. We're just really worried about getting the chicken done at this point. So we're gonna pull it all apart. It's looking good though. Close the lid, keep on cooking. So we're an hour in at this point, up to 133. So we've got a little bit more ways to go. I mean, I'd say tops another 30 minutes the longest. At this point, I'm just gonna keep checking it. They're looking really good. Only thing at this point that I do is just keep some moisture on them, and that's with the cooking spray. Just keeps that skin crisping up. Hey, the dot don't lie, 166 degrees. These chickens are done. What I'm gonna do, just to verify, I'm gonna come over and check this one. Oh yeah, we're good there. Let us stop. What about this side. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We are money. We're running a little bit hotter on this side. It was actually like 170, so I know we're good. I'm gonna get these chickens off. You wanna wear some gloves to do this part because they are hot. Watch that juice that's inside it. I mean that's a thing of beauty right there. Full of moisture. Same thing with this one. Right to the platter. Juice is running. I love it. You think they look good right now? Wait till we turn them into these spicy chicken sliders.
So the chicken has just hung out for about 20 minutes. I really wanted them to calm down, let some of that juice absorb back into the meat, and let them cool enough to where I can handle them. I still got some cotton glove liners on under this, but I know they're still screaming hot. Now we got to pull it up. But man, these things look so good. I'm so happy the way the skin turned out. It's got a beautiful color on them. I know they're going to taste good. But so to pull them, I mean, there's nothing to it. We're just going to first pull them apart. And I'm just going in with my hands. If you want to get a knife out and cut them, you could. But man, there's no easier way than just, let's just get them apart. We'll come back and finally pull them once I get it all separated. Pick that carcass clean. But right now, we're just going after the meat, getting it off the bones. Don't forget that back meat now. There's some good little morsels in there right inside that little cavity. A little oyster meat. Now we can just start pulling it apart. I like to leave some of that skin mixed in with it. It's what makes it really good. You know that white barbecue sauce is going to set this off. I love to serve that white sauce with chicken. It goes so well, but I wanted it to be fiery hot. So I just added some cayenne pepper, some more white pepper, some hot sauce, and some red pepper flakes really to spice it up. And it's not blow your head off heat, but it's going to go really good with the creaminess, with the spices in the chicken. And then we're going to set that off with a little bit of pickles and some red onion here in a minute. As soon as I get all this chicken pulled, and I can't stand it anymore, you know I gotta get a bite. I mean, just look how juicy it is. I know it's gonna be good. Hmm. Mm. I love cooking whole chickens. They really do have the best flavor. Even the wings, when popping the bones out, pulling those, the little skin that's left there. Probably not gonna put that in there. That's a chef bite. Mmm. Heck yeah. That's the flavor. You taste the smoke. You can taste the spices in the rub. So now I'm just mixing the dark meat, the white meat, still juicy. I'm going to move it over to a pan so we can do the other one. And it look, I mean, just check out how much pulled chicken that is. That's off one whole smoked chicken. That's a lot of meat. It's going to make a lot of sliders. Now we're ready for our other one. Take them wings off. I may have to hide those. Those are too good to put in these sliders. Come here and get the breast off. Leg quarters. And that chicken's perfectly cooked all the way through. Still hot. I can feel the heat. You just can't beat the whole smoked chicken. I mean, where the skin bust kind of exposes the meat and it makes a bark on it. So you get a little of the crunchiness and you mix in some of the skin with it. Man, it's fantastic. So this is a pan of pulled chicken. I mean, we've got two whole chickens in there. We shredded it. We mixed the white meat with the dark meat, all the spices from the rubs mixed in with it. It's going to be a ton of flavor. And at this point, you can wrap this up with full... You can refrigerate it, warm it back up, make it the next day, take it to the party, build the sandwiches, whatever you want to do. I'm going to show you how I'm going to build these chicken sliders. So we've got some little split slider rolls. These are Hawaiian brand. You could use whatever you like. I'll go ahead and set a couple of them out here. So the first thing I'm going to put on here is some sliced pickles. You could use dill, sweet heat, whatever you like. But I like that contrast that the pickle gives this chicken sandwich. Once we get a few pickles down... I'm putting four on every one of them because I like pickles. Now we're ready for the chicken. So we're just getting us some chicken, going right on top of each slider. As little or as much as you like. I want some meat on mine, I know that. And that is it. Let's go a little extra on that one. Now we're topping with our spicy white barbecue sauce. Just give it a little squeeze over the top, let it run down. That looks awesome. Top that off with these pickled red onions. And we have pickled red onions at my house all the time. They're the perfect barbecue condiment. They're great on tacos. Heck, we even eat them with vegetables. And I'm going to put just a few right on top for a little bit of crispness. That looks good. Pickled red onion, spicy barbecue sauce, the pulled chicken. Finish it off with the pickle. I mean, those are some awesome looking sliders right there. You can skewer them with a little toothpick if you want, just to keep them together for when you're going to serve them. I'll make me another one. And Mike, you gonna come have one with me, son? I'll make you one, too. Let's get some pickles on here. You like pickles on yours? Yeah, I love pickles. You love pickles. <laughs> now we need some of the chicken. Are you onions or no onions on yours? No onions. No onions? Why not? I don't really like How about the spicy white barbecue? You can do that, right? Yeah. There you go. There we go. I'm definitely going for the onion. It gives a little sweet pop. Mike, let's try them. You ready? Yeah. It's going to be messy. I let it get all over you. Mmm. What do you think, son? It's good. That's a winner, huh? Mmm. I got it all over me. That's when you know it's good. That's a fine little chicken sandwich, isn't it? Yeah. Spicy chicken slider. I'm picking up the heat. The onions, the pickles go great with it, and it's so simple. But the white barbecue sauce, 
brings the spice, but it's not too hot, is it? Hey, these spicy chicken sliders are going to be a hit at your Labor Day party. you got to bring these with you or serve them to your guests. Thanks for checking us out here at How to Barbecue Right. If you like what we're doing, subscribe to our channel. It'll send you notifications whenever we put out new videos. And you can find us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. And Shell and I recap everything we do with our podcast at the end of the week. So check that out, too. We'll see you all next time. Man, these little chicken sandwiches will hurt you. They are delicious. Mmm. Winter, winter chicken dinner, right?